We're gonna open release and then open release. Okay? Okay, let's try. So left side first. Okay, itch, knee. Ah. Okay, right side, itch, knee. Ah. Then itch. I think timing, yeah? Timing, people kind of like a uh, little bit mistiming the technique. Mainly because you're not used to, or maybe because you're not used to this free motion when you're making satuke. Like, you know, like the amount of people that have asked me, or oh, when you make satuke preparation, should your hand be, you know, by your ear? Should it be slightly out? Should it be more up? Should it be well back? Should it come forward? Like, they're kind of missing the point. You know, it's like, oh, you know, when I tie my belt, should I be looking down or looking up? Like, it, it, it's, it's nothing to do with it. You know, like this, this hand position is just an expression of what's happening with your shoulder. And let me show you, if you're snapping your shoulder, your hand will soon find its right place. Because if you snap your shoulder and your hand is out, you'll wrench your shoulder, just because of the weight. Whereas your hand is close to your head, you can snap your shoulder quite a lot to create this smooth action. You understand? So this is what you're creating power with. Well, as well as your stance and your hips, etc. But this is one of the elements. And, if, and people forget this element and then just stay, make a stiff movement. And so the stiff movement can be here, 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 here. It doesn't matter, it's still a stiff movement. You understand? So we're trying to engage with our upper body to, to give that extra element of From this relaxed position, we, you're not engaging this way and engaging this way, I just want you to snap, this snap pin. So, MP. But don't classically make this Yoko MP itch, knee, feeling. I don't want you to do this, I just want you to twitch, twitch feelings. You understand? Oh, oh, oh. And then you can, you know, naturally, I hope naturally, you'll end up making kind of a hikite. So this shape that's completely ingrained all the time, it's a shape that kind of produces this expansion with both sides. You don't have to classically make hikite, but you have to have a sense of, and the point of impact, I'm kind of here, which is kind of here. Okay, so it's like the same, yeah? Oh, snap. Relax, 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 snap. Then it's about this exactly the same whipping of your shoulder. Oh, snap. Then, when you do your rapping, of course, you're snapping your shoulder, you're snapping your elbow, you're snapping your wrist, Ooh. until you're whipping like, like Rick Sensei was talking about this whip, yeah? This ball whip kind of thing. That's the string on your whip, yeah? But it starts from here. It's not to have this, like uh, Rick Sensei was nicely teaching kind of this side sensei style movement, yeah? He also used to do this feeling of coming, coming round this fit. So you're, you're attacking really with your upper arm. Upper arm to here. And in a relaxed shoulder, like this, he, he often used to do this fit, yeah? It's exactly the same, this, this fit. But you're going one, two, three. One, two, three. Is that? Okay. If you try to make it in an orchestrated way, it won't work. You, it has to be the whipping way. This feeling of this fit. What's that? Then if you, you do it nicely, it's attacking all these areas at the same time. Yeah. Yeah. So you come in this feeling, you can simulate it. But it's this action. Your, this is hit UK, basic hit UK elbow block. As it comes in, cover. Push. Well, it's not so much push, it's expansion. Squeeze, expand. That's what it's so he's coming in, cover. This feeling of cover. Then it only works from a super compressed position. Shoulders coming in, shoulders going out. In, out. And believe me, like, like if someone's attacking you, like if, if you're attacking, like maybe you can block with your hand. By the time the second one comes, you're struggling with maybe using your hand. You know, something's going to be working for you. It's probably going to be your elbows. Nice. Basically, it's UK. It's a very effective block, especially if someone's super fast. So this, all you're doing is practicing this. This is coming in and then round. Squeeze, open. What's that? Oh, nice. Very easy. This. You can start from Shizentai, uh, the area's coming in. All you're doing is you're coming in and going on your set line. Please don't, like a couple of mistakes that people generally do, is start blocking Tatishto. I don't want you to block Tatishto. I want you to have a sense of moving in from your center and covering and then you can do it. Was that? Your, 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 here we go, nice This is coming so much contraction that it's coming across your center line. So elbow is coming over. And then from this kind of expanded position, then you're opening. But not only are you kind of opening in this way, you're also using your stance and your hips to kind of come in and go in. Because if you think about, if you think about his, you know, he's super strong this way, super strong in stance, but this kind of position is, is very weak. So you're attacking the weak, I mean, it's just a training method, of course, but you're, you're, track, you're attacking the weak side. So, so have a sense of, of moving in. If you want to be safe, like always, you, know, you want to be safe. 
Like this is, this is, you know, it's just practice, so if you, if you can trust your partner, then maybe don't. If you can't trust your partner, don't be silly, you just kind of, both hands feel it. But it's, it's this contraction that you're working on. And if you contract properly, well, this hand's going to cover it. But ultimately, you're going for this Hijuke. Understand? Okay.